So, hello all. Uh, actually, my name is Leighton Sri. Uh, in the following slides, you'll know about my real name. So, about myself. So, yeah, I said my name is Lightning Sri. My given name is Ramaswamy Pushpar Sridhar. So, Sridhar RP is my given name, uh, where you'll get in passport a given name. So, so that's where I, I thought of changing my name, my given name into my name. Like Lightning Sri is my, my name, and given name is given name. Yeah. So, I was influenced by Lightning McQueen. So, so that I kept Lightning McQueen uh, name and okay. So basically I'm a student doing my diploma in mechanical engineering and my interest in embedded system and uh, electronics and robotics. So that's where like I'm being in makerspace, hackerspace, doing some cool electronics um, or like uh, personal projects for that. And short term goal is learning FPGA and yes. And you can scan my uh, you can you can scan my website or you can scan you can follow my YouTube channel and yeah, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. LinkedIn not updated. <laughs> so okay. Um, so this is about me. And uh, next, okay. So the the, uh, the slide is not finished, but so uh, it's okay. <clears throat> so today I'll be uh, pressing on new hack on 3D printing. So how many of you like uh, 3D printed something? Some of them. Okay. Hey, many of them. Yeah, hey, awesome. Cool. So 3D printing is awesome technology, right? So initially, when I used to see my father's factory, my father has a factory and he has a machine shop. He used to say, he used to keep the metal piece and he used to machine the metal piece. So it's, I, it'll be boring. there will be no interesting in the machining part of the site. It'll be like machining, the machine will be going, will make some noise, weird noise. <laughs> So it'll be like people used to stand there and uh, see for the machine how it does, but it's not so interesting like 3D printing. 3D printing is a technology where all all kinds of uh, enthusiasts or maker or like non non maker also was fond of 3D printing. They want to make some additive manufacturing process. So so many of them, uh, many people from different background contributed different things to 3D printing. That's where like huge evolution of 3D printing technology is like still now with like printing organs, 3D printing organs. It's like, wow, awesome. It can 3D print organs. Maybe you can 3D print your hand in the future. So, so next, uh, so in this talk, I'll be talking about triple F and FDM printers. So basically, uh, if you are not in India, they'll ask, okay, triple F printing, okay, 3, 3D, uh, FDM printing, okay, no problem. But if you are in India, they'll ask, Okay, triple F. What is the full form of triple F printing? Because uh, when when I was uh, last year when I give my SAT exam in India, my grandfather suddenly asked, "What is the full form of SAT?" I said, "Full form of SAT." That was not in the questions. <laughs> I don't know what is full form of SAT, but if if you if you go into India and if you if you say some some kind of a short nickname and uh, short name, they used to. What is the full form of that? They asked. So in this slide, I'll explain what the full form of triple F and uh, FDM printer. They're both the same thing, fused filament fabrication and fused deposition, deposition modeling. That is the full form of it. If anybody asks you, you can say that. And now, okay. Uh, so what is next is everybody last part is triple F printers and what are the kinds? So these are the triple F printers, FDM printers. They both are similar, just different names. And recently like technology is boomed out. So there are, uh, it, this is an ancient technology. And uh, pretty hobbyists and makers use this. Uh, but recently, most people prefer SLA, SLS, which is like resin printing with uh, UV light technology to cure. And SLS is like sintering, like metal parts, like yeah, powdered metal will be poured in a certain region. And due to the heat, it'll uh, the metal get fused with the other layer of metal and you'll get a metal extruded. 3D product. So many of the aeronautic industries or some of the robotics industries where they want like cool, strong parts for their bicycle or <laughs> strong parts for their aircraft engines. They can use the SLS technology and do this. Thing. So next, yeah. And cool thing is like, if you, if you want to, if you don't have a 3D printer like me, and if you want to 3D print things, so you can come to Hackerspace and you can join us a member and you can print your cool things. Uh, so that was a free tip and okay, disadvantage of this old ancient technology is like you can't print complicated shapes in this 3D printer. 
and if if you print some tedious shapes you 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 will end up in the support structures maybe uh, i will i will explain the support structures later if you if you if you don't know uh, overhanging prints are complicated you can't print about like uh, certain angles if it like over overhanging like 90 degree you, you need lot of supports so breaking the support is a tedious task only 3d printer who like uh, the person who who handles 3d printing or who makes uh, like uh, who prints stuff right they know like breaking of the supports sometimes you break the supports you will break the part part also so it's just like so patient you required you need to remove it and you need to do like post workings are like uh, we have plenty of post working like filing it smoothing it down so yeah too much of filament is wasted you are wasting the materials so whenever like not in india most of the people they saying plastic not good for environment you should reduce the plastic uh, not good for things plastic is abolished so we makers we also know like plastic is uh bad thing so we need to reduce the support structures and we need to reuse the filaments again so so in this ancient technology filaments like uh used very massive like uh, in larger quantity and yeah it was like if you are printing the 3d printed part with lot of supports it's time consuming so if you want to print a small part for 5 minutes but due to support it becomes 10 minutes it's like it's doubling your time so time is very very important time is everything we'll say so if you are consuming lot of time means your your work everything is like lag behind so time is very important so these are the four disadvantages i i i see from the triple f printer so how to hack this three stuff with the new technology to to hack this disadvantages from the triple f printing there's a new method that method is developed by a software engineer so hey you software engineer we hardware engineer like we hardware engineers we do pretty good stuff we build stuff but we need some kind of a software persons to make that neural activated or like some kind of a boost or some kind of a drink actually uh, make us like engineers are the builders okay we build things but software engineers are like the tonic bottle thing right when you drink the tonic something goes to your brain and you do something some activities so software engineers are like very great and they're like hey. uh, i forgot the god's name uh, okay zeus yeah exactly yeah and okay so the the new um, the method of uh, of printing the uh, okay uh, uh, the new method is like over arc overhanging method that is the uh, the developer kept the name arc overhanging method and it is known as mid air printing printing the mid air without supports you print in the mid air so yeah this is the overhang printing so you will make arcs and without supports you will print overhanging so this is the g code like you if you want to visualize the g code you can visualize this this is done by the developer his name is steven and that is a rainbow visualization it's completely runs on python yeah so personal experience actually i will uh, i i after seeing this cute cool technology right basically maker wants to test it out yeah when, when a software people like I I I I I don't know like whether it's true or not. Software people are like too lazy. Like okay, could I could I move and could I just do the things? So hardware people are like quite energetic. We need to try that out. We need to figure that out. We need to make that out, and we need to test it out. So with the enthusiastic and with the with the with the with the curiosity, I want to test the software part. So I downloaded the software. I I read about the GitHub page where how it was done. So. so then then i got a few samples from the github only so i printed the stuff this part was cool but it need printing the cooling cooling need to be added to your printer and this was the i have designed the stuff but it didn't come properly so maybe i need to do a little bit of engineering in this to figure which is the best part so i give the parts to you you can just uh, visualize the parts yeah uh and okay uh, the model was generated from the website you can you can uh, you can go to the website and get the model uh, or you can you can also generate the model and you can do print. and cura recent cura version also has the uh, overhang print so you can download you can uninstall if you are having uh, the older version of cura maybe if you install the latest version you can print the overhang prints 
and yeah you for printing this you need extra pans to cool your uh, printed object so if you if your printer is uh, if your printed object is high temperature it will uh, when you printing the mid air the filament will like droop down so you need to have like a uh, perfect temperature so whenever it drops it, it should be solidified then it should be like uh, printing the next layer top of it so whenever it it drops down it should solidify so you should maintain that kind of a temperature and then what is indicated by okay uh, yeah the broken sample is like that was generated by me yeah that the model is like generated by myself so it had some issues the the print pretty good stuff was like i downloaded from the model from the website yeah this is the pretty cool one i downloaded from the website and this is the yeah okay yeah this is the new update i i think i should try this out yeah uh, so whenever actually yeah <laughs> need to try this out i can do this all day so whenever you are climbing from the hack like climbing from the downstairs to upstairs right i used to remember this day that i can do this all day yeah <laughs> so so i need to test it out so next is testing the cura software and overhanging printer so r printing okay so uh, github links so this is the github link if you want to know more about the overhang prints you can go to this link and this is also like cool youtube video uh they'll talk about our overhanging printing and they'll say like how to get the software part and how to do yourself if you want to build yourself uh okay so live demo oh okay again back yeah <laughs> so uh yeah i think i'm there so this is a pretty uh, uh fast demo uh so quickly i will show this is the website so this website is a really 3d website so you can you can there is a lot of uh, 3d printer stl files available online you can choose a temperature or what kind of printer you have you can do the settings pre settings over here and get the stl file and print the objects and you can really test it them i actually i tested uh, only one model this model because uh, our 3d printer has not had like the uh, pretty good fan so i have additionally added a fan and like made this model for especially to show in the hackware talk so this is the model which i thought to test it out with go with the smallest step like going to the bigger step and ending with the failure is like okay it's a failure but when you start with the smaller step right eventually you know what is the root cause of the things so that's what i i have did and i caused it so this is a github page and it's like i like this thing like it's rainbow effect rainbow arcing so rainbow arcing is purely done by the software guy and it's genius yeah so this is right now it's in cura you can do it in cura also yeah uh, he printed many stuff so and yeah and you have the installation how to installation if you want yeah if you want to build yourself you can build it by yourself too and wait okay i think did i have okay uh so i i downloaded from the uh from the github this is the uh documents we'll get so you can if you have a uh, 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 like python script like uh, if you are good in python or like actually i was i i'm learning python so initially when i was trying to uh, down, uh, uh, get the clone of clone from the git and try to execute in my python i was not able to get it so i, I what i did was i i downloaded the conda anaconda then anaconda is a huge library if you if you just type whatever the libraries you want it will download everything for you it's like easy matter so so that is the thing like i i downloaded and i and uh, i am running the software so this is the program if it run means yeah it's printing the layers and you will get the visualization over okay this is a cube and if you want to print the cube in overhanging this is the arc pattern it you it initially used to start and that is a, like rainbow like this is like this for uh, for i attraction and this is the g code pattern you required so to to make this you need to actually change in the pi file the main dot pi so if you go to this file and you can see like pretty uh, maybe it's not so visible so there is like base poly polygon this this is that uh, 
Okay. I hate my uh, platform are you? <laughs> so you need to change these lines. When you when you change this lines, I can't explain the code part of it. Maybe like you're pretty good than me, so you can figure it out. Even I also figuring it out in the way. So so you can enable uh, enable this part of the code lines, and you'll be activated with the with the pattern, the two D pattern over here. This is the pattern. You will get it. And the next is next thing is you'll generate the you'll generate the G code for it in the output file. So then you will get the G code of that layer, particular layer, particular height. Then what you need to do is you need to take this G code and you need to go to your uh, your um, Kira. Kira, Kira software or like uh, slicer the software. So you you there you will be generating the G codes. Uh, probably you need to have like uh, over over this they use the wrap tile or some kind of a different software. So where you can visualize the G code. So you can remove the which part which part has a support. You can remove that part and you can add this code to that. Mm -hmm. So you can just mismatch and you can do the three D printing. Yes, it's it's cool hack, right? <laughs> it saves plenty of time. Maybe like. Uh, Maybe uh, maybe I should try the Cura uh, Cruza part. Cruza, right? Cruza recently uh, uh, using this kind of overhanging methods, over arc overhanging methods. So I need to try that and maybe in the next hack where I, I would like to show them. Yeah. Hey, it's a good. Cool. Yes. So, Professor, um, yeah. um, the 3D print, it came from the Python code. Not a 3D model. Which... No, no, no. It's it's came from the Python. Okay. Actually, the thing is, like, you will you you will you need to make the base line outer structure in Python, mm -hmm. and uh, you need to make only the base line. Automatically, the arc will be generated by the rest of the code, which is developed yeah. by the oh, author. Okay. And then you can mix it with other 3D models. 3D models. Yeah. Actually, yeah. this is this is a pretty scratch version of it. Right now, Prusa is like yeah. if they have updated the versions. Yeah. And if you are like interested and if you want to make some contribution to Prusa, this is the right time to make some contribution and make a hero name over there. <laughs> How thick can you go? Uh, I think I I think I I uh, I I haven't explored that thickness, but it was like three five mm and uh, five mm for the uh, five no more than five actually uh, ten mm for that uh, small piece right that circular. Tape like thing, the pulley like thing which I gave you, that is 10, 10 or 8 mm, that was there. Yeah. And for that uh, pretty height part, right? height part didn't come properly. Yeah. Like your spring share is false. Oh. That's not your spring false. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what happened? Okay. 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 Maybe you can just click resume share. Yeah, yeah, you go all the way to the top. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the actually, I need to test that out. Thickness, right? Yeah. Actually, go to like um, higher thickness also, it's possible. When I saw the video, they were going like 30, 40 mm. Oh. Overhanging with that. Mm -hmm. I think so, they can go higher thickness. Okay, yeah. so, and any other thing? Oh, where, where do you put the time? Ah, yeah. The, that's a great question. Uh, maybe I think for this I need to go to the video. But if you if you are really interested, you can have a look in the the workshop where I physically I have attached the pan. But uh, if you are, if I want to show to the viewers in the online and and if I want to show to the viewers in the yeah in the online, so I need to show them the YouTube. Okay, this is not my YouTube channel. It's my YouTube channel, but I have two accounts. <laughs> Uh, so switch account. Okay, yeah. Okay, and library and uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, this part you see, right? This is the cooling part, which directly hits your three D Okay, so on on both sides. Both sides, yeah. So both sides actually. Yeah. Uh, he's using the both ways. So in my design, I am using one way. Actually, other way also. There's a, there's a fan, but it'll not fit in the it'll, it'll not fit in the part. It will just pulls the extruder. So depending on the direction you're using the different. Mm -hmm. 
actually uh, many people thought like if you have a different kinds of movement they can do a pretty good uh, printing without supports but that was ended up in the failure but the software guy has really sorted yeah maybe great sound for the software yeah